It's just gonna be wild. It's just gonna be wild. There's no time for humor. Are you ready? I'm breaking any land speed records getting in here. Six o'clock and we're gonna go kill an elk. Well, I can't say we've really even decided what our next play is. So we're glassing from camp. Kind of feels like a waste of a morning. Quite honestly, I mean, there were multiple people everywhere we went. We had five spots, five specific spots. And there were people, other places where we had thought about going. So we are planning on packing in. Now we're trying to decide if making day hunts in random places is the way to go or find some new trails where people can't drive in. You kind of expect it, but you don't really expect it. <laughs> I expected there to be plenty of people. I didn't expect there to be this many, really. But whatever, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's funny, I'm glassing this thinking, oh, this could be a sneaky spot. And then I see taillights <laughs> way up there. Way up there. I don't think there's anything sneaky in this area. No, no. What I want to do in this situation is pack in, maybe go like eight, but we can't, we can't get a bull out and just the two of us that deep in without getting meat spoiled. It's still 75 in the middle of the day. It'd take us two or three days to do that. Cool. Still at full charge because we didn't do shit last night. All right, we have a plan. We have a plan A, a new plan A, which is uh, plan six or seven or E or F or D. There's no time for humor. There's no humor. Um, anyways, we're gonna hit a new trailhead and we're just gonna hope there's not a million people. We're expecting some. We're just gonna hope there's not a bunch. And then we've got probably five or six new backup options. So I think it was time well spent. We're gonna lock everything up, get in the razor, head to the new trailhead, hopefully, be packing in to kill an elk. I'm sorry, could you rephrase that? We're gonna pack in, kill an elk, and then pack our shit back out, and we're gonna complain about the fact that we packed in four days worth of food to only stay for an afternoon. We won't be complaining. Absolutely. <laughs> sure yeah, exactly. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's just gonna be wild. It's just gonna be wild. All right, folks, well, plan A for today is about as good as we could expect. We're pretty excited right now, actually. This is beautiful, interesting country. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big area with access to a lot of other areas and not a lot of people here. So we're really excited. Yeah, we're gonna hit the trail, let's go. speed records getting in here it's a tough hike absolutely gorgeous we're gonna have a great time bald face hornet just landed on me that's nice oh it's on about to go on alicia's hand that's enough yeah it just can only take so much and we're just debating on where to set up camp we, i think we're gonna favor being tucked away from the wind in a flat spot we just got to go another 80 yards, 100 yards, get these backpacks off, have some food, take a rest, and uh, figure out where we're going to go tonight. That moose was cool. She was just right out, right out here. <laughs> Something That's like right, that, yeah. maybe down here. It's beautiful back in here. All right, six o'clock, and we're going to go kill an elk. Let's do it. This way. 
getting water is fun. It, it's an enjoyable part of the process. I'll say after a long day, I'd rather just be making dinner right now, sitting down at the tent. But thankfully the tent is only about 50 yards away and uh, it's a good night. We left camp about six and we were getting bugles a little after 6.30. Been on elk the entire night. That's fun. We got in the danger zone for sure, but uh, it's just thick. And I think if we would have tried to push it any further, we would have got picked off. It turns out he had a few cows. They were chirping a little bit. That was fun. Got to figure out how to get them pissed off enough to come in that last 25 yards. Mm -hmm.